Are you a skeptic? Do you have skepticism about certain things, about life, about ideas, about politics, about the country? You know, being a skeptic is not a bad thing per se, but this being a skeptic can get her in our way of learning. I was thinking about it in our relationship with God himself. And skepticism can keep us from believing. Skepticism can keep us from experiencing everything that God might have for us because we're unwilling to take the next step. I listened to a friend of mine talk about an appointment coming up with their doctor and how their doctor was skeptic about some of the new advances in medication and didn't want to go in that direction. And I thought, that's dangerous. I may be losing out on a, something that may help me because of another person's skepticism. When it comes to the work of the Holy Spirit and the work of God, sometimes we're skeptic about whether or not it is God. It keeps us from experiencing everything that God wants us to experience. I think when you read the Gospels, half the time what you're reading is people in their skepticism about what God is saying, what Christ is saying. John chapter 5 that I referred to yesterday is about that. They were skeptical about what the claims that Jesus was giving, the claims that testimonies of those who have experienced the work of God in their lives, and they were skeptic about it because it didn't fit in their paradigm. It didn't fit in how they saw it was supposed to be, and we can do the same. Here's my challenge, my challenge to myself, is Lord, if there is skepticism in my life that's keeping your work from happening, show it to me. Show it to me that I might repent and change. Would you do that? Hey, think about that today, would you? Until next time, God bless.